So this is the first one of the day. Caught me off guard a bit, didn't even have the uh, scope cam set up. So just got the shot track footage for this first one. But uh, it's, it's a good shot. There you go. I'll try and show you a closer look at that one uh, as best I can in a mo. Here's a closer look. This one makes its way to the top of the feeder. I zoom in a little. I think he's going to present a shot. Keeps fidgeting around. So I come back out, wait for him to get to where I think he's going to settle. Now, you really got to watch this this screw. This is one tough nut of a screw. So we'll make his way down onto the feeder in a second. And you've not seen anything like this. This is the terminator of all screws. So in a second, you pick something up. There we go. The perfect shot. Water. He's done and dusted. So uh, I keep my eye on him as always, and wait for all that uh, those nerves to finish. Thinking that's uh, a good clean, done and dusted. As of any of my shot, look. Then look, he gets up like the Terminator. I'm thinking, what the? So I double tap him, and that's definitely him done keep looking at him as always just to confirm everything's done and dusted but what? it's like the terminator he just keeps keeps going now I triple tap him now double tapped him now I'm going to triple tap him with a javelin slug and watch that it swings his body around 90 degrees with the energy of the slug hitting him and this one definitely does for me. There you go. That was one tough nut of a screw. I couldn't believe that. That's a 23 grain javelin slug at 900 feet per second. That's that's producing something a bit over 40 foot pound I believe and I'll just have a quick scan around as always just to make sure everything's clear and then we'll have a look at those shots again and like I say this is one tough nut of a squirrel take a look at this so if you look at it that's all literally a perfect shot it's slightly to the left of him as you look i've slowed it right down and had a, a close look at, at these and that should be lights out 
absolutely every time. These javelin slugs hit. Look at that, he's the terminator, he gets back up. So, double tap coming up. Wallop. And I literally don't believe my eyes. I keep my eye on them as always. I certainly don't want any of these to suffer. And I zoom right in to have a look. And look, you can see his front legs twitch. I'm thinking, no way. No way is he still there. So I'll hit him with a third javelin slug. And again, you watch the, the energy these slugs have got. It swings his body right around 90 degrees. And he's definitely lights out now. What a tough nut that screw was. This is the next one, and as usual, he has a good fidget around. You can see his tail uh, flicking around. He's obviously a bit nervous, taking a good look on the floor and wondering why some of his mates are taking a nap at the base of the tree. Eventually makes his way up onto the feeder, settles down, there you go. Now I'll keep a close look on this one as always, don't want any more of these terminator squirrels coming back at me. No, this is a normal one. That's it, it lights out. Take a quick scout around. Or take my hands off the rifle, make sure everything's clear. Everything looks good, so let's have a close up look at that one. Now I slow this one right down so we can have a, a good look at this one. 